What's up guys, Max here and welcome back to my dungeon. Today, thanks to Patriot, I have two components uh, that uh, I'm going to review. Two components very important. The memory, the DDR5, 6000, uh, and uh, uh, the NVMe, in this case, another Viper. So the Viper 400 and is an NVMe Agent 4, very, very fast. And I'm going to test uh, both of the components with this uh, Strix and the 7950X. So you can see in practical and a bit of overclocking as well for the memory, how they can perform. So let's get straight to the point. All right, so now let's uh, check uh, uh, the components a bit, and then we're going to install it on this motherboard and test it. So let's talk about uh, the NVMe. As you can see, it is something that I call a standalone unit. So it came with the heatsink that is uh, as well with the LED RGB here. Then you can see it uh, functioning. Uh, is a standard uh, M2 connector. And uh, of course, uh, this one is, uh, I think, is best uh, for an old motherboard or a motherboard that doesn't have a heatsink like this. So in this case, uh, we have uh, uh, these uh, uh, streaks with here and here big heatsink. So you don't want this, you want a version without the heatsink. But if you need to do like a refit or some upgrade to another system that doesn't have by factory an uh, NVMe heatsink, this is the one for you. So then you we will see the temperature. So it's a unit that can run out of the box like this, just plug and play. So now uh, let's check the memory. So we have the default uh, Viper uh, aesthetic. So is this really the same that the kit that I tested uh, some videos ago? So uh, a very nice, uh, good looking kit. The heatsink is made of aluminum. There's a good uh, uh, thermal pad inside. You will see the temperature later. So it's a very nice kit, so it's well made. Uh, uh, in my opinion, is a high-end kit, and then you will see the performance later. That's why I call this a very high-end kit. And well, it's RGB. You will see it in functioning later. So I really like the aesthetic of this kit, and of course, it's well made, and the performance will speak by itself. So now, without any further ado, let's check the performance. All right. So as you can see here, we have the uh, NVMe Viper in this slot. So is independent from the operating system that is here. I have the 980 Pro, uh, the Samsung here in this uh, external card. Uh, I'm running on iGPU and this is placed here so I can do the test uh, uh, separately without uh, uh, an OS installed on top so you can see the true performance. And then I have the memory here. Both have RGB that uh, are okay, are nice, nice to see if you like it. So. Uh, let's talk about the performance. As you can see, I'm running a stress test uh, 31 minutes so far. I'm running 6.2, so 6200 uh, MTs. This is uh, the uh, Strix profile, so it was made for by an overclocker, so it's uh, a completely manual profile. So everything here is set in manual. This is a very nice profile. I have did a lot of benchmark with this and is actually one of the best performing profile I have found uh, in this uh, motherboard. So you can tweak a bit uh, uh, eventually if you want, but this gives you like a 15 to 20% boost in gaming versus the XMP profile. This uh, memory is now, of course, a, a 6.2. The original was 6, and this is a, uh, is a Hynix chip. So I have tested it on an Intel, the, the EVGA Kingpin uh, motherboard, and I was able to do like six, six, eight, uh, seven, seven thousand uh, also without any problem. So, this is a very high beam kit, and uh, I found really uh, a very nice kit among all the kits I have. So, we are talking about uh, a high beam memory kit that is rated 6000, but it can do 7000 without any particular issue, of course, if you have the right board and the right CPU. So for an AMD platform, this uh, profile is really, really easy to obtain. Just uh, you can load the profile and you cannot worry about anything. Uh, for the temperature, the thing is uh, that uh, this kit, as you can see, is running hot because I'm stressing the kit. So if you're, if you're gaming, probably you will stay around 40 degrees, 42. But uh, I 
I tried to do this stress test and everything without any fun to see if this chip is sensible to temperature because with most of the DDR4 and some DDR5, the temperature above 50 will lead to instability. In this case, even if I'm running 68, 67, the system, as you can see, is perfectly stable. Just uh, a recommendation, if you can, try to find uh, um, or um, a water block for the memory, like the one I'm going to review, uh, pro probably the, the video after this one, or to find uh, a fan or, or a chassis that is very good ventilated, or if you can, the, the GPU to use the liquid cooling on the GPU or something like this, because DDR5 are very sensitive to uh, temperature, not in this case, fortunately, because it seems that is a very well-picked uh, uh, chip, but you know, be aware that if you find in gaming, because your mother, your GPU is uh, pushing a lot of uh, heat on your memory, if you have like a 50, 55 uh, degrees on your RAM while gaming, keep an eye on it, but that's it. So uh, on the memory side, I'm very, very happy. This is one of the best kit I've tried so far, like the other Viper, so very well binned. So let's talk about uh, the MVNE. So at first uh, uh, in the box, uh, I have, uh, uh, as you can see here, this is a bit weird because it, it writes uh, the performance that it seems uh, for the one terabyte and it stated that uh, this is 512 gigabyte and the performance was based on one terabyte. But actually the performance, as you can see here, are not quite bad because if you compare to the 980 Pro two terabyte, so a really high hand uh, NVMe and the one here that we have, uh, so the Viper is this one. Well, as you can see, the, the performance are quite nice. Honestly, for a, for a 512 gigabyte uh, NVMe, I'm pretty satisfied, okay? You, you don't have the, the, the 4K performance the same as the two terabyte version of the Samsung 980, but well, with this performance, you can do literally everything. Uh, you name it, uh, video editing, everything. And this is a, a really versatile, um, drive because you can use it for OS, uh, for like say cache or um, additional storage for Photoshop or whatever. So anyway, the only thing that you have to keep an eye is the temperature. As you can see here with my 980 Pro being in this uh, big uh, uh, enclosure, I have like 35 degrees maximum because it's, it's really well dissipated. In this case, we have 66 because of course the heatsink uh, is uh, uh, smaller. So if you count that uh, uh, this, this motherboard have, have this, that you can use for the NVMe, but uh, this uh, being a standalone unit, or as I call it, this is good for all the uh, motherboard without, or motherboard that doesn't have uh, uh, this thing. So if you install this on a motherboard without any additional heatsink, uh, it's okay to have 66 degrees because I, I tried multiple run, without having any performance issue. So the temperature stays at 65, 66, depend as well if you have a good cooling on your case. So the only recommendation is not to put this, uh, let's say, behind a GPU or other peripherals. So just keep an eye that you don't do a sandwich between this one and another uh, component that is very hot, but you know, Keep an eye on this, and this disc is very, very fast, and uh, the price is good as well. All right, guys, what can I say? Uh, nothing less than expected. So we're talking about high-end component. Uh, this is the second Patriot Viper DDR5 that I review, and honestly, I find the same uh, quality as the previous kit that was a bit higher in frequency, so a very nice high-end kit. Of course, as every high-end memory kit, if you do overclock, uh, it will get hot a bit. So make sure that your case is uh, adequately ventilated. So keep them fresh. But even if you cannot, as we have seen, this is a kit that is stable even with high temperature. So very well done to Viper that uh, have selected the chip very carefully. And as well for the uh, NVMe, is a very nice drive. Uh, is doing better than advertised. So Again, a very nice, uh, good job to Patriot to make this uh, uh, kit. And well, if you have in mind to buy one of those, uh, thumbs, up, thumbs up on my side. So 
don't worry and buy it because uh, both are very nice components. So, and I've said, see you in the next one.